Hello, and welcome to the Power of Charms interview series. Today, I have Kimberly Gimmerin, and she is a dual wonder. She is a social entrepreneur and also the founder of an amazing family foundation called um, uh, Show More Kindness Charity. And so we have a lot to talk about. I want to first um, tell you, I met Kimberly through a, fr a mutual friend, Kelly Durham, who works with the Phoenix Zoo, and we've done lots of projects with her. And she said, oh my gosh, you've got to get together. Um, Kimberly was going to have an event. Uh, it's a Kentucky Derby event that she's put on through her foundation. And uh, we connected and actually did a really fun little charm. Um, has the has the horse and then has the name of her, her charity on the back. So this was her giveaway for the event. So we had lots of fun developing that, doing the branding. She's got beautiful branding, um, the colors and everything all tied in. And the I was able to go to the event and had just a fantastic time and you did such a good job Kimberly so so thank you for that and um, let's get started talking about how you uh, started your foundation definitely well it was such a pleasure to get to meet you I can't thank Kelly enough for that introduction and having you at the event to see everybody's excitement when they saw the charms it was so wonderful to have you there oh thank you um, well, as a family, we've always kind of been a family that gives back and likes to do our, our part and help others. And as we started doing that, we thought, well, maybe we could do more if we uh, started our own foundation. So we decided to do that as a family and we sat down and thought about what we wanted to focus on. And that came very easily. It was uh, children. So kids, anything to do with kids. And then like anything, when you're starting it, what are we going to call ourselves? So we sat down with all these names. And one of the things that I really wanted to key in on was the word kindness. I just feel like that encompasses so many things. And just one of the things that I think the world needs more of. And no matter what you're doing, if you just do it with kindness, it just goes a long way. Mm -hmm. So we sat there with the word kindness, and then we decided, well, let's look at our names. So we took our four initials, uh, Chris, Kimberly, Savoy, and Milan, and we played around with those, and we came up with Show More Kindness Charity. So Savoy That's and Milan. That's such a really great good. acronym. It, such, it has so much meaning. I just love that story. Thank you. We had a fun time doing it, and it felt good once we came up with it. Yeah, it was one of, I bet it was one of those aha, right? That's it. Yeah. <laughs> That's it. <laughs> It really, oh, really fantastic. Was. So this is a venture that you do as a family, and it was great to see your husband and your kids, everybody all dressed up and into the theme. And uh, and uh, what a what a great thing to do as a family, um, just as a venture and a, and, a, and a, just a give back ethos. I think it's wonderful. I think and it's you started that in 2018, them. right? Uh, we started our Derby event in 2018. Mm -hmm. Yes, that year I was uh, nominated with Leukemia Lymphoma Society for their Woman of the Year. And um, we did the Derby event as a fundraiser for that. And it went really well. It started with 30 people, but did quite well. And so the next year we thought, well, let's give it another try and we'll just keep keep doing it. And each year it's grown and grown. And then last year or the year before last, we started the foundation and decided to run the event as part of the foundation and had close to 200 people. This year we had over 200 people. So it has really caught on and um, the Valley is really supporting what we're trying to do here, which is show kindness to children who are um, battling blood cancer. That's what the derby and, goes for. And so you started out focusing on leukemia, but you've branched out now. You're working with other charities as well through your Dare to Dream project. Is that correct? Um, well, the Dare to Dream project is part of Leukemia Lymphoma Society. It's their um, branch is working for children. There is no cure right now for um, pediatric blood cancer. So that's an initiative within LLS. And that's what we have um, supported with the Derby. But as a foundation, the Show More Kindness charity, we want to do things with other charities as well or other children or groups in need. So that's our, our focus. As long as it has to do with children, we, we want to look at it and see where we could help and just do more. That's that's such an amazing um, story and such such great growth. And um, what other are you going to be doing other events besides the your signature derby event? We are looking into that. We would like to start doing something in the fall and just trying to figure out what we will align that with, or if it will just be an um, an in general fundraiser to have a fund that's just ready and available for like a crisis 
or any other needs that just could pop up that people would be able to reach out to us that we could be there to help them in those times. Okay. That sounds that sounds like a great and admirable uh, goal for you and your family. I just love it. Um, you also have your own business, which I love, you know, because I'm an entrepreneur as well. It's called Pops Coffee. And I like to call you a social uh, enterprise because part of your business model is a give back portion, the coffee that you sell. Tell us about Pops and, and your pop and tell us how you came about starting well, this business. Yes, in 2017, I was a mom, um, but the kids were getting older and I needed something to do again. I had just I had stopped working to just to be mom and enjoyed every minute of it, but was having some more free time. So I thought, well, I'm going to look at what I can do. So I thought about doing really, really good high-end artisan coffee, but doing it online because I could do that from home and it worked out with where I was in life. So I talked to my dad and he had some connections in the coffee world and he connected me with them. And so we were sitting again, trying to figure out a name and my kids call him Papacino or Pop. So that's Adorable. where we came up with the name for Pop's Coffee. It's in honor of him and all of his support because he has been like a cheerleader for me from day one. He's always been like, you don't know if you don't try, right? Just try it. Right, right. Who knows? And if it doesn't work, it doesn't work, but give it a go. So once again, right. he was right there cheering me on saying, give it a go. So we did. And here we are. We are now uh, branching into retail and things are going really well. We have just started a our coffee cart. So that's available for businesses or events. And we're going to do some charity work with that as well. And now every bag of pops that we sell, we give a dollar back to show more kindness to charity. See, that's that's just a wonderful tie-in and, and all kind of all goes for full circle. And um, good for you for being brave enough to start that business. It's always hard to do that. Um, and did your dad, was your dad in the coffee business previously or he, he did, just he did, made great uh, coffee? As he retired, mm -hmm. he was bored. <laughs> <laughs> There's a lot of that in our family. We like to keep busy. So he had um, gone into a, a coffee venture with a with a friend of his for several years, and he just thoroughly loved it. He is a huge coffee drinker. So my as we all are, right? <laughs> drinks it black. So his my test for all the coffees. If he can drink it black, it's good. So if somebody wants to um, get their hands on some Pops coffee, um, where's where's the best, is it best to do it online at this point? Online at, um, yeah, popspremiumcoffee.com. You can get okay. it there. And um, again, we'll keep updating the website with local retailers where you can get it. And if you want to go there, that would love to support them. We'd like to do things with small businesses as well. So anything that supports them makes me happy. Again, I like everything to work hand in hand. Right. Yeah. It's all uh, uh, the um, symmetry and getting together and making it all work. And um, it's it's all good and it's all working for you. I just love the whole concept and how, how everything um, has meaning to what you're doing. So um, 2025 is around the corner. And uh, as we both know, <laughs> uh, planning a charity event is a lot of work. So I'm sure that you've already started haven't you yes we have we've already begun we have our auctioneer we have our MC. we have the date which is easy because the kentucky derby runs the first saturday of may every year this will yep. be the 151st running this year my gosh yes and you have you did the um event at your home this year it was absolutely beautiful venue the way you had everything set up are you going to be able to do that next year or are you getting too big well, we think we have maybe another year or two, then we may have to start branching out, which is a lovely problem to have. We're so pleased and so grateful to have that. Yes, yes, absolutely. Um, and every charity goes through different iterations with their galas and events. You know, things things get bigger and bigger, and sometimes the venues change, sometimes they don't. Um, the concepts can change, but um, uh, the basic premise is there. And I think um, tying in with a huge event like that is so great because there's not a lot of venues that I know here in Phoenix where people can actually go and have fun at a derby party. So just love the fact that you do that. Oh, so that is going to be on May 3rd this year. Um, and then if somebody wants to find out more about your charity and 
hopefully check into the event, they can go to smkcharity.com. Is that correct? Correct. Okay. SMK, oh. smkcharity.com. smkcharity.com. Okay. Well, I know that I've got it on my calendar and I'm looking forward to it. Kimberly, is there anything else that you'd like to share with our audience that we haven't talked about today? Well, I think we've covered a lot. I just encourage everyone to do whatever they do to do it with kindness as well. Absolutely. Kind, kindness is the key. So thank you so much for your time. Thank you for all that you do and all the impact that you make in the world and in our community through your business and through your foundation. You're a very special woman. And I, I feel really honored that we've gotten to meet and work together. I feel the same. Thank you so much for having me. It's been an absolute delight. Oh, thank you so much. Looking forward to 2025, Kimberly. Yes. <laughs> okay. Thanks and have a great day. You as well. Thank you. Bye. Okay.